Welcome to my lecture online. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at the temperature gradient of Venus's atmosphere. Now, as you can see, it is very different from what you expect on the Earth. On the Earth, we have kind of a zigzag graph because as we go higher up in the atmosphere of the Earth, first it gets cooler, then it gets warmer again, then it gets cooler, then it gets warmer again. We do not see something like that in the atmosphere of Venus. At some points, there's some slight undulations, but the general curve looks like this. At the surface of Venus, the temperature is around 733 Kelvin, which is about 460 degrees centigrade. As you go higher up in the atmosphere, there's a general cool down curve. By the time you reach a height of 25 kilometers, so that the atmospheric pressure has, has dropped from 92 bar to about 10 bar, which is roughly the same as 10 Earth's atmospheres, the temperature has now dropped to 537 Kelvin, which is still very, very hot. This is about 15 miles up into the atmosphere. When we double that, when we go to 50 kilometers, now we're 30 miles up in the atmosphere, the temperature has now dropped to 348 degrees Kelvin, or 348 Kelvin, which is about 70, let's see, about 75 or so, uh, 48 plus 23, no, about 71 degrees centigrade. So now we're getting into a temperature range where the temperature drops below the boiling point of water. To reach that temperature, you have to go up about 30 miles into the atmosphere, about 50 kilometers up, where now the pressure has dropped down to about atmospheric pressure. So the same pressures you'd find on the Earth. So the atmospheric pressure on the surface of the Earth is the same pressure that you will find on Venus 30 miles up in the atmosphere, about 50 kilometers up. Similar temperatures, just slightly higher than you would find on the Earth at, that, at, uh, at the uh, Earth's uh, sea level, so to speak. Then as you continue to go up, you see that it continues to get colder and colder and colder, and you finally reach a, a height of 100 kilometers, so it's about 64 miles up or so, when the temperature drops to 161 Kelvin. This is well below the uh, freezing point of water. Matter of fact, it's more than 100 centigrade degrees below the freezing point of water. So by the time you reach a height of 100 kilometers, about 64 miles up, it gets very, very cold up there. And then just like you would expect, the same thing happens on the Earth. As you continue to go higher up in the atmosphere, then you start getting a heat source caused by the, caused by the interaction between the solar wind and the upper atmosphere particles, contributing some additional energy, and the temperature begins to climb again. But until you get to that elevation, there's this pretty well smooth dropping of the temperature until you reach a height of about 100 kilometers. Again, very different from what we see on the Earth for very good reasons. On the Earth, we have the ozone layer, which, which then, of course, absorbs the ultraviolet radiation, which is a heat source. Then you get up higher, then the temperature drops again. You get up higher, you get to the atmosphere, then the temperature increases again. So different perspective, different kind of things happening on Venus compared to the Earth. Uh, there it is. You can see that until you start reaching temp uh, heights of 50 kilometers and above, the temperatures are well above what you'll find anywhere on the Earth. And that's the temperature gradient that you'll find in the atmosphere on Venus.